The First Amendment establishes freedom of religion, freedom of the press, and freedom of speech. From our early American history classes as youngsters, we learned that the early colonists left England to come to America in order to have freedom of religion. Well, freedom of religion in the First Amendment establishes that we can go to any church we want, any synagogue we want, any mosque we want. And that the government cannot mandate a national religion or national church and make us practice that particular religion. The second part of the First Amendment is freedom of speech. That means literally that we can speak our mind against the government. And the government cannot make laws that prevent us from criticizing the government or our leaders. Frankly, we can say what we want about our government, whether they're doing a good job or a bad job, without fear of any laws preventing us or anything restricting our speech. The third part of the First Amendment is freedom of the press. That means that the government cannot control the press and control what we hear or see or read. In fact, we can get our news or information from multiple sources. We can have a particular news channel that we like, or we can have a particular website that we like. And that news or that information from the free press, that means not under the thumb of the government, that we can get information freely from multiple sources, listen to what we want. And if we don't like what the press is saying, that we can write a letter to the editor and get that printed or we can pass out leaflets or flyers, or we can create our own web page and state our ideas or our beliefs. The fourth part of the First Amendment is freedom of assembly. That means that groups of people can gather privately or publicly, share ideas. It can be a social group, it can be a political group, it can be a religious group, and the First Amendment allows them to assemble and share ideas. The fifth part of the First Amendment is the right to petition. That means that if we have grievances with our government, that we can send those grievances to them. We can have petitions put together. We can, we can send emails, we can write letters. We can have our opinions known to our governors, to our presidents, to our judges, to the folks that run our country. We have the ability to petition them and explain what we like and what we don't like. And that freedom is established in the First Amendment.